Welcome to Leonardo da Vinci's Draw My Life. Leonardo da Vinci was born in Florence in 1452 in a town called Vinci, hence his name. He was one of the polymers, expert in many of the most important subjects in history. Big man, the Renaissance man, he was a descendant of a rich family of nobles. Although he was an illegitimate child and his mother was a humble peasant, he spent his childhood at his father's house where he learned to read, write, and even do arithmetic. All before the age of five, Leonardo was a lover of nature and drew it in small sketches. His paternal grandmother, who introduced him to art, presented his drawings to Andrew del Verrocchio. He took him to his workshop and then he developed all the plastic arts. But with Verrocchio, he learned not only art, but also chemistry, philosophy, and arithmetic. In these nine years, no art of Leonardo is known. There is only a record of his work on the angel, on the left of the baptism of Christ. Verrocchio assumes it's the best part of the painting. His first painting of the 20 that have been preserved fits from 1476. That same year, he left for his workshop and moved to Milan. There he worked for the Medici and for Ligo de Pestilence as an engineer and a painter, studying for the Cathedral of Milan. He was a sculptor, an architect, and a scientist. And he had so much on his mind that it's no wonder he left paintings and studies unfinished. His mind was centuries ahead of his time, developing prototypes of helicopters, tanks, and marines, or automobiles for a hundred years before they appeared. In 1494, he began the Last Supper a painting found in the convent of Santa Maria de Crazy. Its greatest features are the incredible perspective and movement, apart from its enigmas like the female picture next to Christ, which represents Mary Magdalene, the knife that Peter carries, or the image of a baby watching Judas. The fresco is more than eight meters long, and go through the 12th from Napoleon, we're willing to tear off the wall to take it to France. It's now in pretty bad shape, and even in the 17th century, someone had the brilliant idea of putting a door on the Jesus. That's why he has no feet. The importance of the anatomical study for his paintings is very important. As you can see in Vitruvian Man, the Leonardo dissected corpses to study their organs, something that was forbidden at the time. The importance of the anatomical study for his paintings is very important. As you can see in Vitruvian Man, the Leonardo dissected corpses to study their organs, something that was forbidden at the time. Apparently, he dissected over 30 bodies. In 1503, he begins to paint the most famous painting of all time, and to which most studies have been devoted, the Mona Lisa. The model is believed to be Francesco de Giacomo's wife, Lisa Garadini, hence her name Mona, which means lady. Leonardo kept on retouching it until his death in 1519, to create that magnificent effect on our smile, which disappears if we look at her mouth, and appears when we look at other points. With the French Revolution, the painting came to the Louvre, where you can see it today. In 1513, Leonardo left Milan, and placed himself at the service of Pablo X of the Medici family. He went to the Vatican with Raphael and Michelangelo, that his painting was not very successful, but this time in Rome was a hard blow to the spirit. In 1516, he left Italy for France to become the first painter, the first engineer, the first architect of King Francis. For the first time, he would be valued as a painter, and that was very important. His relationship with the king was so close that he considered him a father. Leonardo did not have children, but when he fell in 1519, he left everything to his companion and pupil from the age of 10, Francesco Melzi who helped him with his last project since he could barely use his hands. Of the 50,000 documents on philosophy, architecture, medicine, and any other discipline that Leonardo would have perfected, only 30,000 have been preserved. Most of them in Vatican City, but many he has been the greatest thinker in history. And this has been Leonardo da Vinci's Draw My Life, one of the great geniuses in history.